Uh, listen, I'm really disappointed. Uh, probably frustrated more than anything. I felt the first half we didn't really help ourselves. I thought it was too slow, too pedestrian, uh, and we were too deep uh, for a, a huge chunk of the, the first half. Uh, the, the goal comes at probably uh, the wrong time for us. Uh, and then the, what, the deer grow into the game, but we, we begin to get deeper and deeper in the game rather than, rather than doing what we were asked to do and uh, probably trying to feel safe from within that. Uh, second half, we came out, we start playing in your half, which makes it a wee bit different, and then we begin to test them, and then obviously we give away, I give away the, the, the penalty, which is disappointing. They score from that, and then I thought the boys responded at that point, I thought they came back into it. I thought for the next 20, 25 minutes, we, we played in your half. We began to dominate, we, we began to create chances. Uh, the game's done at that point. We, 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 need, to, we need to be brave, no, no. We need to go and uh, play in your half, pass the ball, do what we're asked to do, uh, rather than taking us to 2 0 down. It's easy, at that, it's easy at that stage. So, uh, a lot to work on with that. But the third goal at the end, for me, obviously, Stephen set off at that point, we're down to 10 men. So, that's, that's really disappointing. Uh, but, it's not a good day, but we can't dwell on it. Tomorrow we need to be in, ready to go, recover, ready to go again on Tuesday. You speak there about the, the fact that the second goal fell in the, the second half, obviously, Vast players, they, they give them a message at half time that they think the match will be able to put it in place and get some, some reward from that, that there's been another goal game. Is that something that you need to work on maybe starting a bit quicker in the second half and make sure that that is ready to go through half time? Obviously, we've got some benefit from it. I, I, obviously, the message at half time is it needs to be better. It, it wasn't good enough the first half. And we, we put, as I said, we, we, we started the, the second half, we're playing in your half. And then uh, I spoke to Sean at the end, he says he's, he's put his leg out and he's brought it back in and the players went over. So, uh, listen, the, the decisions uh, cause penalties, especially when you do that in your own, in your own box. Uh, and it, it goes to 2 0. So, it doesn't really give us an opportunity to implement what we're trying to do in the second half, which becomes really frustrating. But. After that, I thought we, we did for those that 20 25 minutes. We had chances, I mean, like the two, two or three, I sorry, two one and ones, maybe boxing balls into the box, and maybe just stretching. Or, uh, but it took us to get to 2 0 down for that to happen. At, at 0 0, we never we, I think maybe two shots at goal went by the post, which becomes really frustrating. So if we don't shoot, we don't score. If we don't get bodies in the opposition half or in the opposition box, we're not going to cause problems. So at that point of view, I felt we were naive. Uh, but well, listen. We need to get better. We know we need to get better. The boys in there understand what we need to get to, and we'll be doing everything in our power to do that. Uh, today is the first game of the season. We've got a lot to do, a lot work to do. Right, when you talk about events, on the positive from today, in the fact you get minutes in for a 16 year old, you certainly to, to take the game well. He's taking on players when you get the chance, and hopefully that's something to build on. Right, well, listen, Ryan's only 16, I think he's been 16 for, for two weeks. Uh, so it was an opportunity to put him on. It wasn't ideal circumstances, obviously, to be uh, doing all down at the time. And then I think he's on, on, the, on, on the pitch for, for two or three minutes before we lose Easter. But that's what this club's about. We have to we have to get kids on the uh, on the pitch and put in the first team. Albeit I'd like to give Ryan his chance today when we're in a winning position. Now, unfortunately, that never happened. And, and we looked at him to go and try and make an impact in the game. The fair, you, you seen what he can do. I think maybe two, we had two glimpses of him getting down the, the left hand side. He can also play off the right. So there's, there's going to be chances for kids. Uh, and Ryan took his today when he got on, he, he, he made an impact and he's, he's left, left people with something uh, and they're speaking positively about him but uh, I'm, I'm disappointed for him in a sense that he never came on and uh, we, we were comfortable in the game. Now that's a blessing the, the group stage actually, the fact that we'll get a game coming up on Tuesday night to get us out of our system, is that something that is good for you and, and for the lads as well to, to get back to the high standards that we've set, especially in pre I, well, listen, I mentioned that in the dressing room and the, the boys were all on board. There's, there's no point in keeping tomorrow and feeling sorry for ourselves. That's done. They can't affect that, albeit uh, it wasn't good enough. But Tuesday night, I'm, I'm sure that we'll bounce back and we'll be ready to go and play and ready to put, put it right. Uh, you, you've put four or five weeks of hard work in and one defeat can't not get confidence. So I'm going to look to see if there's a tomorrow. My spring, I'm spring ready to go and it's Tuesday night. But as I said, it needs to be positive. We need to be at home and we need to go and implement our, our style, which today we never. Uh, but the, the, the players know that and I'm, I'm 100% sure they'll bring Spartan Tuesday night.